Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BioLeap Wellness TV. I hope you guys are all doing well today. St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I hope you guys are all wearing green. I got my green on right here. But uh, what I want to talk to you guys about today is three stages of adrenal dysfunction or three stages of the stress response. Okay, now I am a stress relief expert and performance enhancement coach. So what I do is I help people eliminate as much stress from their body as possible and increase their, uh, their performance throughout the day. All right, so with that being said, let's get on with these three stages. Now you have three stages of the stress response. Okay, now the third, obviously the first stage is you know a very uh, subtle stress response, and the third stage is what you what we like to call uh, adrenal exhaustion or stress exhaustion, and your body's too far to get back in balance, and, and it's going to need some help to get back in balance, and that's what I help people with. Okay, so with the first stage. In the first stage, you have what is you have what is called the fight or flight response. This is the body's a full uh, the body goes on full alert. All right, now you, this happens when you're going to get chased by a bear. This happens when you're uh, you're in a very stressful situation and you have to react at the snap of a finger. Now the adrenal glands excrete what is called ad adrenaline, and that adrenaline goes up into your hypothalamus and stimulates the the stress response. Okay, so what happens when that, that you get your brain stimulates that stress response is your heart rate increases, your breathing becomes faster, your, uh, your muscles tension up, uh, you get stronger, some, you do have superhuman strength at that specific moment, uh, your digestion shuts down, uh, and, and when this happens, this specific response happens, you have 24 to 48 hours to recover. That means you need to sleep properly. That means you need to eat properly. That means you need to, um, you know, be in a proper environment. That means that means you need to um, do things to help your body recover within that 24 to 48 hour period. Okay, so once you take your your body from stage one to stage two, now stage two is is when if your body is experiencing a lot of stress within those 24 to 48 hours. Okay, so this is a majority of people that I consult. All right, so if your body is experiencing a ton of stress after that 48 to 24 to 48 hours your body excretes what is called cortisol now cortisol is another hormone that gets excreted from your adrenal glands and it help it gets excreted into your blood and it helps uh, it helps with anti-inflammatory uh, you know promoting it, it helps with anti-inflammation anti it's basically the immune response from the adrenal glands okay so um, this helps with tissue repair it helps um, depress. It, 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 it um, you know it it helps you know with with uh, a lot of other functions within the body, and when you continually excrete this cortisol, you know everyone's different. It depends on what your uh, what your genetic potential is, how how much how much you how much how much stress you have on your body. But when this is excreted for so long, and you have so many stressors on your body. From, from you being in a bad emotional state, from you not consuming the correct food, from you not digesting your food properly, from you not detoxifying your food properly. If all this stuff is done for so long, you go into what is called stage three exhaustion or adrenal fatigue. Okay, so if you are in stage three, your body or your cortisol levels start to diminish which means that you you can't fight off all the stress that's coming to your body and then when you have a depletion in cortisol this is going to lead and affect all the physiological aspects within your body including your muscular skeletal health your your digestive health your immune function your um, your skin health every every single physiological uh, component in your body you can imagine this is going to affect Okay, so um, there's a majority of people that are in the border of either stage two or stage three, but the key is to get back to stage one, and that is what I help people with. I help them get back to stage one adrenal fatigue. Now, that's with multiple therapies, okay? Multiple therapies. That's with, um, you know, you can do some stretching. That's with some emotional relief technique. That's with some, uh, some, some dietary changes. That's with a ton of other lifestyle changes that you can do to help improve your your uh, your cortisol output, your adrenal output, and improve your stability and really get all those physiological aspects that are out of balance back in balance. Okay, but that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. Okay, so figure out what stage you're in, and if I can help you out, I'm more than happy to help you out. Okay, so if you're in stage three, um, please. 
please, I suggest that you guys act right now because that later down the road is going to lead to, you know, some very debilitating disease and harmful uh, other toxic things that can go on in your body that you don't want to happen. All right, so other than that, that's all for today. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, please go visit my website. I would be more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, I'll leave the link right over here. And um, that's all for today. Hope you guys do well, and I hope you guys uh, have a great St. Patrick's Day. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.